Good morning, everybody. So how's everyone doing this morning? Let me just fix the camera real quick and let me practice looking at the camera. So I still need to practice on this. All right, so we have good news. Now, a while ago, I made a video saying I'm going to make a generic FPV goggle modding video and all I had was the Eshin D2. And um, the D2, we could easily mod, it's not easily mod, it's a bit more complicated to make that type of video. So I said, I asked you guys, I said, what do you guys want to see modded? What goggles do you guys want to see modded? And I said, maybe we could talk to Banggood and they could send them over. So you guys said the EV800s and the EV800Ds. Actually, everybody was just saying those two. So I'm guessing a lot of people have those. I don't have them. So I wrote Banggood. I said, hey, listen, you know, can I, do people want to see these modded? Is it fine if I request them or you guys provide them or give me some sort of a discount? I don't need both of them. Just one of them is fine. Uh, they said, sure, yeah, we'll send them to you. So that's very nice of Banggood. Thank you so much, Banggood. So we're going to receive those for modding. The, uh, the DHL is saying that they're going to be here on Tuesday, but I know they're going to get stuck in customs because they're over 100 bucks. So uh, we'll see how, yeah, probably by the end of the week, we'll have that video out. So that's one thing. Smartwatch is on the way. It's in Europe somewhere right now. So maybe also towards the end of the week, we'll get it. Uh, the Hobby Wing is currently on the way. It'll probably be here Wednesday if it doesn't go through customs. So that's really nice. There is also something that I woke up to this morning was a new stack called the Mamba. Now, I think, I think Mamba is by Flycolor. I think I could be wrong, but I, I like 65% chance it's Flycolor. And uh, this stack is 45 bucks. You get a 45 or 40 amp ESC. Don't take my word for it just yet. Uh, we'll say 40. Let's do the benefit. Of, uh, let's do worst case scenario. So it's a 40 amp ESC rated for HV LiPos 3 to 6S, I think, or 3 to 5S. And it's a stack. It's an F4 flight controller with the 4 in 1 ESC, a BB2 chip, which is BLHeli S, not BLHeli 32. I could not take a good look at, there was no real good pictures of the ESC. Because um, they show you the stack, but they show you the side with the MOSFETs. They don't show you the other side or the top. Like just, I just see two MOSFETs. I don't see any filtration. I can't see any filtration. But this whole thing is 45 bucks. $45. Or 40 maybe. So you get the F4 flight controller, and you get uh, MPU 6000 gyro, and you get this BB2 4-in-1 ESC chip, and they're connectable via not pins by wires. So we can possibly have an old, new, cheap stack, which is pretty insane. I don't think, I mean, l l let me put this into perspective. Right now, 4-in-1, uh, not for all in one flight controllers cost around 40 bucks. $40. So you're saying 45 bucks, I get a 45 amp 4 in 1 ESC and I get an F4 flight controller. I, that cut your cost, if it's a good ESC, that cuts your cost minimum of 40 bucks on a quadcopter. Minimum. 40 to 60 bucks. You know, so the good ESCs are 50 to 60 bucks. A pretty decent okay one possibly is around 40 bucks. So, uh, yeah, so yeah, minimum, yeah, that cut it like around $40, which is really fucking good. Sorry for my language. I know you guys wanted me to be kid friendly, but it's really damn good. I don't think kids could build quadcopters just yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, it looks like a hell of a deal, but that's all it looks like. It's just, I'm sorry, but that I got, I got a call basically. So. Yeah, it's a really, really, really good deal, and yet I don't know, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. It $45. I mean, let's put this into perspective. The current cheapest way to get a 4-in-1 ES, or just ESCs, okay, 4 ESCs for a quadcopter, and F4 flight controller with an MPU 6000 gyro is the Racer Star Tattoo F4S with an OSD. It's really nice. It's a really nice setup. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I love that thing. Uh, the the tattoo version proves to have some issues sometimes with vibrations, but let's put that to the side. Um, that goes for around sixty bucks, seventy bucks. That's the cheapest possible way you can build an F four decent flying with good ESCs quadcopter. Okay. So if you're saying we can take that and, and at the same time split it into two boards. Am I recording audio? Yeah. 
split it into two boards instead of because some people, you know, you get in the crash, you push the throttle, stuck in the tree, trying to get it down, you burn one ESC, the whole board you have to throw away now. Okay, that's never happened to me on that one just yet. But it's it, it will happen eventually to somebody. Uh, so you're saying we take that, we drop its price by 15 bucks, okay? If it's good, this is just theoretical speaking. <clears throat> we drop its price by around 50 bucks, if not more, 15 bucks, sorry, 15 bucks. And then you, you at the same time get it split into two boards, split into two boards. So the ESC goes out, then you just replace the ESC instead of getting the whole thing for 45 bucks again. I don't know if we'll be able to find the ESC by itself again, but what's so cool is let's just say you had this setup, you've been flying it, you saved up a little bit of money. You're like, oh my goodness, I want to try the Tico 32. Let's see if drone mesh is bullshitting or it's real. So I'll pick one up and if it's a piece of shit, then I'll just go off on them. So, you know, that happened to you, okay? Uh, that's how that's how I do my video. That's how I, that's how I live my life also, you know? Okay, you're talking about things that's so good. Okay, I'll put a little money on the side. I'll pick it up, and I'll test you. If it's real, if it's really good, then I'll take your word. Um, so, you got it, and then you burnt that ESC. Totally fine. Just, it's a wire. It's not pins. So, you just replace it. Put your new Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC and fly it. And now you have a premium quadcopter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, a flight controller is a flight controller. I mean, a flight controller is a flight controller of the MPU 6000 gyro, okay? <laughs> not an ICM. Uh, so, uh, ICM gyro, that thing, ha you really have to think about your equipment there, like a lot. Uh, and your frame. Your frame, your, your frame, your motors. Well, motors depend on ESCs, so... Uh, I would recommend you get the best ESCs you can possibly purchase online in terms of filtration, which would be the Tico 32. But not only ESCs, motors, and frame, the wiring. And what do I mean by the wiring? Well, it depends. If it's some sort of a ICM gyro all-in-one flight controller. Sorry, just keep afraid that it's not recording the audio. So if it's an all-in-one flight controller with ICM gyro, which is a sensitive gyro, and you built it, so obviously all in one board will have the ESC power connected to the uh, flight controller, okay? And when the props turn on, they touch the ESCs, they make the ESCs vibrate somewhat, and that vibration can turn, go right into the flight control. Now, now that vibration is, can, can, can really affect your flight controller in this specific way, which is the wires you know, because usually you like to have the shortest wires possible to have it as clean as possible. But the wires, let's just say, just got pulled a little too extra and it's causing stress. And then just the smallest things, you know, instead of it being, you know, just have some slack to kind of have some dampening against that vibration, whatever vibration might be. Uh, but if it's like super stiff, because, you know, when you put solder on a wire, it'll just soak it up to here. So instead of just this part of the wire is, is rock solid solder, it dips through the inside. So it makes that part all. So that's, you know. Yeah, that's especially if that part is touching something, you know, it's 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 a bit more an advanced building situation, I would say. I'm not saying you can't get away with doing it, but I'm just saying it's uh it's it's a lot it's very it's much more difficult to to just build it and go fly it, you know. You really have to t take extra caution of everything, and you really have to know some of your filters and some of your tunes uh, to to get started in such a thing. Um, so, because some things are just completely unfiltered, you just can't filter it, you know? Okay, so if it's electrical noise, I'll add 10 low XR capacitors. Okay, good. I did that. Shit's still there. Alright. Well, okay, maybe the ESCs. We'll keep the 10 e low XR capacitors, we'll get the best ESCs we possibly can. Okay, we got those. Still there. Maybe a little bit better, but still there. Okay, so what do I do now? Okay, let's see. Hmm, motors. Let's get... A smaller motor just with not so strong magnets and then see how well it does it's a little bit better but I still can't tune it then what the hell's wrong with it it's the frame frame you replaced it oh it's a lot better but there's still that little something what the hell can that be I have there's nothing left for it to be that yes there is the wires that are touching the flight controller Depends on how much stress they have and how much vibrations they're inducing, and then they just induce it right into the flight controller. 
I don't think ICM gyros are the way to go just yet. I could be wrong. I don't know. But it's it's um it's proven to be out of the emails that I get and people that I've seen. It's 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 very difficult to sit down and debug it with people. I, I, I where do I start, you know? Um it's you just can't. You just cannot. I mean, you have to it's a really nice learning process, though. I can tell you that. But if you have the time. But if you're the type of guy, you know, you just have an hour and you just want to go fly, you know. You, you don't want to have to deal with this shit. You just want to go enjoy yourself. You know, you don't want to get into all, you know, the, the filters and, and all these things. And um, I don't blame you. Sometimes I just want to fly. I don't want to give a shit about anything. Because when you fly, you just forget the world, you know. Like the world doesn't exist anymore. It's crazy. It's like your soul is in that quadcopter. I can't even explain it. It's it's not it's an awesome feeling. It's really awesome feeling. I need to go fly more actually. Like, just myself, just keep a couple quads in the car. So, yeah, ICM drag. What else do we have? So yeah, the Mamba. Whoa, where the hell did I end up? So yeah, that Mamba <laughs> that looks pretty good. Uh, that Tyro ninety nine flat quadcopter kit from Banggood. I have one on the way. So UAV Future say it's the best ninety nine dollar quadcopter. I mean the best racing drone for 99 bucks or something. We'll test it. I won't do a build video because everyone did a build video on that one. So I think everyone did. I think two people did at least. I don't know Stu and possibly Albert possibly did a build video. I don't remember. I'm just going to build mine and then just record the flight footage. And compare with the $130 drone that we've built. And 160 And a pre-built $300 one. So yeah we can do that. Um... What else do we have? Hmm. I have... Oh, yeah. I got this thing. I don't know if I'll leave a link down below. Remind me if I forget. It's a tweezer solder. Solder. Yeah, I think so. Basically, it's, it's a soldering iron. That's like a tweezer. So both of these would heat up. And then I guess you would go like this, heat it up, pop it up. I don't know. It's on Banggood. And I picked it up. Could be good. Could be good. So, we'll see. Hopefully, it's nice. I got a new soldering station also from Banggood. I think it was like 100, 120 bucks or something, 160 bucks. I want to test it out. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller than this one. I need as much. I need more space on this table now uh, because I'm kind of getting limited in the amount of space I have here on the table. So, that'll be coming up. I have a lot of things actually coming. A lot of things coming. Now, we just wait. Wait, wait, wait. So now, you know, I'm even thinking I should start a build of the new of, of drone mesh split saint, or uh, just you know, I'm gonna go ahead and start charging everything, and um, I, I don't know if I'm gonna make the build just yet because I have a lot of things still to fly. I still haven't even flown the low KV builds that I that I've built, but the problem is. Uh, one of the success lipos died. I didn't even get to like maybe four, five cycles I've used on it possibly, but I don't want to blame the, the lipo itself. It got into a pretty hard crash, so I don't want to blame it because I mean if it didn't get into a pretty hard crash, then I blame the living shit out of it. But it did get into a pretty hard crash, so I I I don't want to blame it just yet. I'll pick up two more because they're pretty damn ex those success lipos pretty damn expensive. I got those uh, ACGHC, I don't know what the hell they're called. I don't even remember. Those green ones, the 70C ones, they have some other ones too. But uh, for Europe, it was like the cheapest thing, quickest thing to get for me. And I saw NV Astro's video and I was like, oh, well, maybe they're good. 70C, uh, not, the, not the higher C, the yellow ones. I got the green ones. Because the lower the C, the less sensitive I feel like the LiPo would be to overcharge, over discharge, and as well as a little slightly overcharging. I don't, I never really overcharge my batteries. I always usually sometimes over discharge a bit more than I'd like to, but you know, shit happens sometimes. Um, and well, that's it guys. So we have all these things on the way, all these things to be planned. And I'm just going to start charging up my batteries and preparing everything to take out some of the quads out for a flight. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you guys think down in the comment section. And I'll leave a link to everything down below. If I forget, just, just write me a comment and I'll just add that link. And I will see you possibly in a couple hours or tomorrow. Peace out, guys.